Three live broadcast today, being the fourth day in the month of July 2024, the seventh month in the year. Therefore, from me, from here, it is good afternoon. I welcome you all to this very broadcast today, once again. As I welcome you, I would love you to welcome others by sharing to your own very page. Great dear friends and lovers of freedom, we are here once again to continue this very journey of lasting solution to all our lamentations and problems. Today we are going to discuss we are going to look a little bit backward on the activities of the enemies in our land and ask ourselves question, in which way have we contributed ignorantly to what is playing out today in our land? Because there is a new video that showcased on social media. And why and what we have been saying, or what Martina Samuru have been saying on Radio Biafra, not only that, and what other IPOB media warriors have been hammering about, and what is today being reviewed on social media by the arrest of some people and uh, by the Nigerian forces. You remember, if I'm going to play those audio today, I'm going to play those, this, you are going to listen to it through this very platform when time comes. Sometimes when we say something earlier with experience on how government work and how freedom can be handled to not be like others. What makes you a wise person on earth? Like our elderly ones, our fathers always say, not the kind of, not the kind of this new generational fathers we have to families have today i'm talking about our own fathers our own forefathers only that's a, a sometime when i need them to pray i always ask god one particular thing i say god show grace and mercy to this very generation that prayer i'm praying i am always pray that prayer with tears gushing down my eyes because I know this very generation in the next 40 years I don't know the kind of society that we are going to find ourselves into or our children are going to find themselves into with this kind of parent we we have today and the, the kind of uh, leaders they are building in communities and in the villages and even in the states then you can easily tell yourself black not let me not mention where i don't know you can you will boldly to tell yourself or you will be boldly to be able to describe the disaster and the catastrophe that is awaiting ahead of all of us with the kind of people we are seeing today and their mentality and mindset you remember eventually when i pointed out some egos and some village heads in activities of these kidnappings and the caste nations and the extortions of communities in the name of 
Biafra must come. In the name of our leader must be released. All this is atrocities. There is nothing that is done by IPUB that have never been with reason. But this is when Martin Nandekano was kidnapped. Politicians raised fund out of jealous, out of let us blackmail IPOB. They begin to use the same voice they were using for political assassinations and the political crisis in the state. They begin to use them and convert them into Biafra agitators. They now have symbol. That symbol become Biafra flag. They now have name. That name becomes Mazen Nambekan. Because one, they don't have the authorization or the, may I call it, the jurisdictions to be mentioning IPOB because what they want to destroy is IPOB. So in that in that regard, they by court the name IPOB first and grab the name of the foundation of IPOB. The name that formed IPOB, then grab that name, begin to use the name in other way to convince those who are not calculative in life and those who are not well informed about politics. Because what they play when what they, what they played then was pure politics. Because sometimes if pure politics is playing out, if you don't understand it, you will not understand it. Except you are in a carcass of that game called politics. And that's why you must be smart and be a critical thinker before you can become a very successful politician or be able to handle situation when the enemies are already planned or their strategy to this you know to bring crisis on what the project you have on hand why am i saying this thing when i was saying it earlier 2021 mazen and the canon we are kidnapped but today that's why it is always good to stand by the truth and be a reasonable man initially people may not like you but after the same people that you were advising or trying to save them, they will realize you are, you are the kind of mindset you have or the kind of a critical thinker you are. They will appreciate you. Some of them may not come to appreciate you, you know, to make it to, to known to you because of jealous or because of shame. But the most important thing that you have done what is right. That's why I keep on telling people. Do not follow crowd. Do not follow the say. That thing you know that is right. Bring it on the table. Keep it on the table. Give your word concerning what you brought on the table. Look at the reason why I am putting this thing on the table. This thing I am putting here will help all of us. You may not be now, but you may be in the future. This one I am putting here will help all of us now, so that we will see the result in the future. You give your word. Then it is left for those who want to accept or those who want to reject. Because we are democratic in our nature as people of Eastern region. 
that is only a place where the firstborn of the family cannot rise up and sell anything without the junior one's approval or total agreement of the family members. It is only in Biafra land that culture exists. That culture does not exist in Yoruba land. That culture does not exist in Arewa land. It doesn't exist there. We are the founder and the foundation of democracy. That is why when one person made it in a family in Biafra land, the rest ones coming or who have never made it can never be slave to that one who made it. Rather, before you know what happened, either that one that made it know the culture and respects him or herself earlier by calling others together and say, what can I drop? How can I settle all of you so that all of us will be equal? If you don't, that one does not respect him or herself earlier to do that, to settle others, to make them, to establish them, then those ones we call that one. They will call him meeting and they lecture that particular person, that God who God has blessed first, lectured him about the necessity to help others. It is only in Biafra land such is done. It don't dare you do it in Yoruba land. It don't dare you do it in Arewa. If those ones get, the rest one who does not have will become slave to those ones. And this is why Nigeria is what it is today. But it's unfortunately that some Igbo politicians who have joined politics with the Funanese and the Yorubas who have this culture. The culture is culture, you cannot change them. I am not saying that that culture for them is bad. That is their original who they are. And this is the original who we are. And we must respect all this originality of persons. That's where I'm going. But trying to adopt what you know that cannot work because of your colleagues are succeeding doing it in their place, that is their culture. And you as an evil man, you want to systematically brought that particular culture into our land where you know that our blood can never accept to be enslaved. Our blood rejects it totally. Our vein rejects it totally. Our bones reject it totally. Our skins reject it totally. So trying to bring such into, to integrate such into our midst, we not only bring chaos, it will bring total disaster. Because that is not who we are. And the other thing is, in our blood and our culture, we don't accommodate evil. A Biafran known to be indebo can never accommodate evil. This is why we have a common culture in our land. We are only people who comes out and blame somebody in the presence and blame our own in the presence of foreigner. Irrespective of what that person is, as far as he, do, he did anything wrong, we are only the people that have that common culture to come out with in boldness and say, one na, in here in the presence of every other foreigners, maybe that our own offended, we will tell him the presence of the, everybody and say, come, what you did is wrong. Don't do it again. We will not apologize to that foreigner, that stranger in our midst. Sorry, don't be offended. We have cautioned him. It is only we that have that culture. Some people may call it bad culture. Who does not understand how transparency works? Some people may see it as 
we are always blame our own in public. No, it's not all about this. It's all about who our ancestors are. Why am I saying what I'm saying? Because what I see this recent year in Biafra land as a whole is a something that sometimes when I am in my private, I begin to reason and I begin to share tears. I say, so our people have this kind of evil mindset. So our people can involve in this kind of attitude. Then where is the sacrifice of our forefathers? Who brought this thing? Who brought this evil? Who established this evil? Who was bring our youth to be involved in this kind of terrible act? Because I was shouting. So we say, yes, he's doing it. They are doing it to release Mazin and the can. They were doing it to do this. Look at that angle. I said, what are you looking at the angle? I am telling you something with experience. You are asking me to look one angle. Which what what is that? What is that in that angle? How distance is the angle? How close is the angle? What is benefit in that angle? You see the same person will, will be will be rambling his tongue. He cannot explain he or herself to tell you that that person is being moved by emotion. Nothing more, nothing less. He has nothing to defy his action or her actions or whatever they may have agreed to. Let me tell you something. I lined some words out and questions. I said, give me, I'm a man of, if you convince me, I give you my support. You cannot just tell me what without me questioning you. I will I will bring my question to you because I want to know what is in your upstairs before agreeing on your own. I said something concerning what was playing on. I said, come, let us not support evil in the name of being emotional. I said, let us call evil evil. Let us call it, because that is who I am. Call a spade a spade. Irrespective of who involved, don't look at the face of who involved. Speak the truth. Remember, this thing today that is playing, a lot of family lost their loved ones in the name of Mazen and the Cardinal must be released. And I informed their friends, I said, don't be deceived. These activities is not activities of Biafra agitators led by IPOB. IPOB have their manifesto. And the manifesto for IPOB, nobody can change it. That manifesto has been established. Protect the Biafran's lives and property. Jealously, jealously. Protect them. And the anything that will make our people to enter into perpetual pain, we will handle it. We will handle it professionally, in other way, to avoid pains because our people have endured pain in that country called Nigeria. They have endured humiliation. They have endured all manner of treatment we must not add to it rather we will do everything in our means to ensure that we avoid all these things professionally and that is what if you watch the activities of the leadership of IPM this is exactly what I see in them I say yes these people they are they are online they are on track of 
what this struggle is all about. Let me play, let me play this voice. Because I am doing this thing because there are something my late father told me. Say before you pinch another man, before you carry pin, you see pin, needle, you look at your fellow person and want to you that you know how tiny needle is. He said, Let me let me see how this person will feel. Let me see how this needle we pay we pen this person. First of all, my father, my late father said, first of all, before I do anything to somebody, I should sit down. If it is knife you want to spear into somebody's life, into somebody's body, first of all, use that knife. Bring your hand. Chuck it to yourself. And see how painful it is. If it is very painful that you it pay you to the point that you shake your heart. Do not carry that knife and choke that person. That's what makes you a human being. Do not apply that knife on that person. If it is needle, you want to choke somebody. I know ah, if I choke this needle, now this person will shout in pain. First of all, you apply that needle, that pin on your body. As you feel, if you feel hot, do not apply it to that person. That's what makes you a human being. I know God did not create all of us equal. He didn't give us the same heart. But nobody God creates to be. It is something that you decided one day to be stupid, to be wicked, to be evil. Some people say they become evil because of the hardship. No. You have been nursing that inside you. To become evil. Let me play this thing. Let me tell you something. There is nothing activities of a non government going on in in our land, hijacking of of uh, snatching of people's vehicle, uh, kidnapping. Killing and harvesting of organs that are not being supervised by either our egos or politicians. Remember, the late Abacha said something. He said, Any crime that exists more than 24 hours in society, the hand of government is there. Late Sonny Abacha. I never forget that word. Any crime. Any criminality or terrorism that has lasted more than 24 hours, the hand of government is involved. Is that word the truth? Yes, it's truth with capital letter. I'm coming. I want all of you to listen to the voice of the arrest lady married to one of these autopilot that want that government government of Nigeria wanted to use to ravage our land. Then there's something that caught my attention. You now have begun to do the calculation plus and minus and ask yourself where does this thing relate to the freedom of Biafra we are fighting for? This is what I want to be asking these criminal minded people in Biafra land. Okay, we are fighting for Biafra that we are demanding for referendum. Which we go through the democratic way of voting. People will make their choice. Nobody will be point gone. We are not pointing, we are not establishing, we don't want Biafra that we will establish by gunpoint. Well, you, uh, Chijoki, you must be a Biafra. Or a Mecca, you know, we want Biafra that we be Libra, democratically achieve Biafra, whereby this is ballot, this is ballot here, this is ballot of one Nigeria, this is ballot of those that want Biafra from the eastern region. A Mecca will come there, a Mecca will make his or you know, he will make his choice, 
I want Biafra. Or America will say, I want one Nigeria. He will cast his vote in peace and they go. Chijoko will come. He will see the two ballot. He will cast his vote in peace and go. That will be supervised by the United Nations. Because of Nigeria manipulative attitude, it will be supervised by the ESN will be on ground. Nigeria police will be on ground. Nobody will fight each other. When that area reach to avoid and none of this, none of this security will come near the boss. Everybody go and vote, go and do your voting. These ones we do here will respect themselves. These ones will be this side respect themselves. No hijacking of ballot. As the thing is finishing there, it's counting it there. As it's counting it there, it is registered. It is sent to the system immediately. Not Nigeria system of uh, um, uh, DVDs. No. This one will be we create a website for it. Everybody will be seeing it there, complete. As the result is being counted in each community, sending it there, the result will The result will announce itself. Those that have iPen will be able to see the result with their iPen. They will say, I have an iPen, but I'm seeing it clearly. This is not say I'm not seeing it clearly. But at the end, I was asking, if you if you listen to this video now, you will now confirm what I was saying then. That our egos are the people generating and the championing this evil going on in our land. Let me tell you something. When Igwe she Igwe shiphood has been defined, it is when somebody that has no business location or business address he cannot say ah this is the where office of this person where this this person is working this is ah this is his company of this person the only thing we know when this igwe shiphood have been completely rubbish somebody that has no address of any business anywhere any company will come he don't know if this person is a kidnapper he don't know if this person is a container hijacker he don't know this person is one bank robber maybe he succeeded he will just come and build one house in their village he will now go and look for omona and pay them money before you know what but they carry Igwe and give thief now listen to this you are from where? States. Which part of Anambra? Oresikala. What do you do in Oresikala? I sell um, beer parlor with my husband. Beer parlor with your husband. In Oresikala, okay. are there any people called unknown government that you know of? Yes, they live inside the bush. Where yes. inside the bush? Ozu. Ozu. Yeah. Describe that place for us. Ela abadata. Da. Only one big tree nearby. It diverts here. The water was warm. So they used to stay inside there. But I don't know the particular place. Some naga for doing but no keba ala. Na jia mo kore ba no have to go. Okay. What does your husband? What's your husband's name? Onye de kachi boy. We used to call him Obobo. Obobo. Your husband used to work for non government. I don't know, maybe that was then before he married me. Okay, since he married you, mm -hmm. what did you observe he used to do for used non government? To go inside that bush. With inside the chairman the... with the member of um, inside the camp yes, of a non government. Uh, with um, uh, the village people. They used to go inside uh, the bush. When they have problems. Those people used to settle their problems. For okay. Them. Your non government used to settle the problem yeah. of people in the village for them. Okay. Especially now, that land. That which land? Oh, they have a lot of good. 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 They have a l
in this side or what side? In this side, how do side? Now listen to me. The same community. This the same community are the communities where Funanese are destroying people's farm product till today. Till today. This place that this place this ladies was mentioning. The same place is the same place when some few people from the village, farmers who focus on their farmers, uh, farming business, beg IPUB that they need the help of Eastern Security Network. Because before any Eastern Security Network will enter any community to drive families away from there, that's something we call respect. You must meet the farmers within that village. Make your investigation. Know who is troubling them. Know because we want to protect our people and protect our land. Now, I mean the original ESA. They may even go there, try to contact, first of all, the head, the village head. They will contact that village head. The village where they will confirm, ah, we are afraid in this community. Funanese are moving cows around here, destroying our farm products and uh, harvests, everything, you know, and we can't say anything. Then the people that will go there for the inquiry may ask them, what have government done? Have you reached to your state or local government that is in charge of this area? What are they saying? It is the people that will say, oh, we have reached this thing. This thing have no solution by the government. Because IPO we want to ensure that if the one that government handles properly, then what is IPO going there? What is ESN going there to do? They have resolved their problem. Because that is what the duty of government to resolve the people's problem. But in our own, our politicians are not resolving it. So what will happen? They will step in there and resolve the problem of the people. people the people there of that community will be free and go about their farming business. But in, the, in this condition, where all these corrupt egos who are working hand to hand with these kidnappers and these caste smashers call themselves or non grown men, where they were working hand to hand, when the people bring the complaint, what will happen? Those village head or the Igwe or the chief of the village, they will not. They will say no. They don't need ESN. Do you know why they don't need ESN? They know that when ESN come in, they may encounter other crimes. People are performing inside bush. Not only the Funani are disturbing the bushes. Not only the Funani terrorist. We have criminal. We must not dodge from that fact. We have criminals before Biafra agitation in Biafra land. And most of all these criminals have their bases in the bush as well. So when they know now that maybe one of these Igwe's or one politician who, who is, if, you know, who is influencing the community, what they will do? What are they going to do? They will, they will alert that they don't want ESN. Then ESN will leave. Because there are many communities that is being afraid of the Funanese because of how they are being killed in their own farm. They will go there where they wake up. Do you know why these egos will not allow ESN to come in? Because of they are involved in the criminality going on in that community. Now, do you know that before this arrest, there are many people that have been arrested for over one year ago in that same community. Some youths 
who saw it as a golden opportunity because some politicians called them and said, rubbish the name of Mazin and the Kano. All of you go into crime. They who are the victims of this crime. And the worst part of thing is, the same people from the same community are people conspiring to kidnap their own brothers and their own sisters that come in for their own betterment. Most of them are coming to bring one industry, one small scale industry to build in that village and give work to the youth from that village. The same people will gather and conspire with the will of the community, they will be kidnapped. And some of them, if eventually one of the guys of that group that kidnapped these people happen to know him or happen to cross, uh, they feel that I have known them. That's why most of them, most of the people they kidnapped from that village that, that they don't return since two years, they have killed them. This autopilot, this thing have killed, slaughtered them because they know them. Maybe one of them, uh, no. If you leave this and you go and talk and say that you are there involved, they will kill them. These are the things that we have been hammering, 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 hammering. That all this Igwe is involved. Do you hear what the lady said? He said, the Igwe know that the unknown government are there. He work, they work with them. The husband, before the husband marry her, it is the money that the man made. That he used to entice this lady and marry the lady because every woman need money, need comfort. You need a comfort home to live as a husband, as a husband house. This is a man who amount to nothing. Within these short years, he has become a millionaire because he's selling uh, beer parlor in that community, that village. This is are the people when you are talking on media about the activities of uh, autopilot, they will tell you uh, they are the one doing it well. And if you see the argument, they will because they are protecting their business. Nobody that does not know that these people are criminals. But anybody you see defending them, either their brother or their sister or their mother or their father is somehow involved. They are now, they are now a rational actor. You know, where Igbo man see where he can eat and they feel comfortable, he, he rather die there. The politicians who established them to rubbish the name of Mazin and the Khan, the same politicians now the ones shouting, insecurity, insecurity. Listen, it's not all about recruiting criminals and arming them just to blackmail somebody. The, the, more, the purpose here is, we are you be able to collect that arms that you have handed over to them? Are we able to stop them when they have tested the crime and they see the sweetness of the crime? We are you be able to control them? That is the, that is the issue. Now, those that said they are doing it well, I want to ask you, what connections does freedom fighting got to do with land dispute, with marriage dispute, with a brother and the brother disputing family, family dispute? What does that mean? What does that tell you? Do you see that IPOB is wisest organization in this whole world? Whole world? What before the formation of ESN? What do you see the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra said on Radio Biafra? No ESN should be involved in a land dispute. No ESN should be involved in a family dispute, marriage dispute, community dispute. Because why? Why this thing, why all this other leader rule was, in, was published? Because of, they know from there they will be corrupt. Because we know how our people behave. You will see somebody who God bless. You have also God have blessed him. You want to go if you know that uh, there are these people are the people that involve. You will come go there and give them two million and say, "Come, I need this land. Deal with my brother." 
So that is why earlier this, because we have studied the character of our people. That's why IPOB as foundation came up with this idea. No ESN should be involved in any land dispute or any marriage dispute. And it was made, made clear. The evidence is there. Mazen and the kidnap. The next thing we hear, autopilot, autopilot. The next thing we hear, uh, uh, these, are, these are the people doing it well. Our, our men are hungry. Our men are hungry in camp. Which of your men? Did the people ask, who are those men that is hungry? They begin, politicians begin to form camp. Igwes begin to form camp in different, different community. And as they form this camp, before you know what, what happened, that camp will be infiltrated with foreign intruders into that December. They will now working together with the village youth who these politicians from this village have gathered for this purpose of crime. Then the crime will become uncontrollable. Now, listen to this definition. They are working with the king. They are working with the king of... But I don't know the they king. are working with the king. Oh, but I don't okay. know the king. They shared the land. They shared the land with the I, I love, this, I love this particular place. Now, this police officer, this police officer is trying to grab something there. He, he asked her again. The unknown government, they are working with the king. They are working with the king. They join the king to share the land for the people, the land that is controlled. That is, so which, if you are not working with people, how can you join them to share something? Go ahead. A beer parlor shop. My husband owns the beer parlor shop. Your husband owns the beer parlor shop. Yes, it's my... Okay. How many times do unknown government used to come to that beer parlor shop um, to buy drinks? Uncountable. Okay. I don't they used to come there and sit down yeah, they used to and sit drink. Down. Sometimes they would just buy the drink and go. Uncountable times. Before I came to that shop, sir, mm. some people around there were telling me that Omo Neha, like the Eben, who should not go to Omo Neha, not to be a man. I used to go to Omo Neha, my mom. Never had beside that high band. I never heard them because they died in the village. How many yeah. times has your husband? carry things like beer. from your shop in to go and give the people inside the camp or non government inside they'll the camp. Call them. They'll call my husband mm. and my husband will carry something. So sometimes they'll send one bike. The bike will come. And when the bike comes my husband will be because maybe I'm not around. I want to now listen to this one. The confirmation from this confession. What is what is going on in that community? Uh, the when uh, the high chief Okuta Michi, <coughs> uh, Okuta Michi, uh, not really na the woman ne weary. He had been here no Wedezikala, no my neighboring town. Mm, this thing happened on Thursday last week. This woman no in a serious danger ever on a keta. Uh, I'm gonna video now to go here now. Our no bodo gafun and sobu no beha ha kwado din sobu. Let me just put it this way. Okuta Michi. This unknown government on this village for more than three, four years now. And the community marana this unknown government not there. This lady in an interview ever, the a member of that unknown government. In here the Naruna the community. But only a guy in citizenship or nata. The guy get information because only the beer palo. A bit of unknown government now. Or royal book. To distribute information to those unknown government not in the bush on your battle no bottom boji bata. They will go and take the person. A quarrel son. Okuta me John were and breaking napping. Nere no between his search and the wedding scala twenty-four hours and a kidnap on the muddy. As a matter of fact, the wedding scala mezilia 
as a point of duty, any day can I promote them there, the entire town will contribute money to bury the person out. Because how much will Omoha Did this particular area, this Okibwe, this area, this assist, was this particular area mentioned in Radio Biafra time without number? The answer is yes. And when this thing was going on, if you watch social media, the same people who are masterminding this crime will come on media and tell you, ah, Masjina Samuru is calling the names of our men on air. This is what they will tell you. It's calling the, so criminals have become your own men. Somebody is mentioning the names of criminals with information and the confirmed details. And somebody is somewhere defending the criminality in the name of the hatred they have for Biafra and the hatred they have for IBOB. And those ones who are not well informed, who does not understand anything about freedom fighting, they will, they will, go, they will be going from platform to platform to be lying to them and they will be misbehaving. Let this guy let, let him finish. Involved in it, which did this woman involved in it? So we just got a kept adamant. On one side they walk, on one hand they manage, on one hand they manage, on one side they walk. Eki na pro madena abono we just madena to. Eki na pro no we just got as I'm talking to you right now. They never returned for the past one year, getting to two years now. Madena to. Eki na pro no we just got as I'm for the past two to three years now. They never come back. They killed them and the, the villagers that were. So now here this girl in the whoever she was forced. Or not only that she was forced, but on a go when you are Basara, there's nothing she can defend there. Okay, defend you there. Okay, defend you when they came. Because now I'm the one guy. I'm a bad dozier mado. A dozier mado. Bue Gonata, 24th February 2023, against 25th February presidential election. APC Biriego, AB American Pen, like this village. The Bemno could involve in it. That night, the boy Batara. Now, be a part of this girl named Uketa, Kosi Abafe, where I love Benai, Kosi Abafe, where I love Bea, about Rolo. Who's one day the guy in Batara? Na gate because only the only the police only the DSS were another. Was one job but a bear may pay a gate here by your bear. Uru has second this unknown government to obey the guy. Bam down my labo, bam police my labo. On one on your mara, or to the guys who remain escape, drive via Buria. When you are on your tika gate, you are one with moto, where the police guy may escape because all blood proof go jabata. If not, how can I would that guy in that night in the sky? Ben Naya dear. The guy has kept. Uzu and Malabadona. Uzu police Malabadona. We have for the guy and may escape with that money. How about the yoko? To obey yoko. Be a one because all solid house. How about the security house? Oko. Ba mo to lato na ban oko. All this guy. Un yen e gu hi aketa mastermind dey. So on more than them and arrest since over that twenty twenty fourth night in here and no race scala to the twenty three and then arrest Hannah Buja to today. So they are using them to get more information about what is happening. Where Maran and Dabo Omar is in the village in Alpha Diaro with some intro that in Shimba, whatever the best set of one or Yano Behan like Paul Moko. Are you hearing it now? Are you hearing it? This is one of the blessed guy from that community that doesn't go home again. These are the people saying the truth now. Do you hear? Do you hear it now? So all this, listen. When people, when, when these politicians were doing all these things just to blackmail Mazen and the kind of blackmail IPOB, I was all laughing at them because they don't know the meaning of IPOB. He's only a foolish man or a criminal who will allow his identity. To be dead or to have a bad name. When they hear IPOB, they just believe maybe it's 
how many people? They never know that. When I tell them, I said, I said something. I said, eighty-seven be a France, eighty-seven percent of people from the Eastern Region are IPOB members. There are people who are not registered member, but they are watching very closely the activities of IPOB. They are in police, they are in army, they are in custom. They are businessmen, they are businesswomen, they are pastors, they are reverends. They are all manner of, in all manner of office in life. They are there. And you think they will keep their mouth shut, allow the micro few criminals that doesn't know what they want in life. To bring down the future and the lasting solution they are pursuing. It can't work. It can't work. Most of all these guys that were recruited by these politicians to blackmail IPUB activities. Today, where are they? Most of them have gone. Most of them have gone. I know a lady that called me that the brother joined. He literally enjoy, he went and buy Toyota Camry. At the end of the day, the brother that wanted to kill the lady. Because the lady, the sister were telling him the truth. Stop this thing. Stop this thing. Why did you join these people? Why did you join these people? Where did you join these people? To the to the point that the lady even challenged that his brother of phone. That one was threatening him. So, so you are joining these people. You are joining this buffon. Don't you see the activities of this guy that this guy hates everything about Mazen and the can hate the lady who are challenging the brother until that brother, that brother of uh, went for a mission that he did not return. That is how God punished him there. They killed him. But that's what when the couple said. Allow him to be the land of Biafra will chop him, and the land will chop him immediately. I said, The land of Biafra will swallow him. Allow him to be. Since they have seized see opportunity, they say it's opportunity. These are the criminal that is afraid of IPO, they are afraid of Mazin and the Let him finish. Okay, for you. How about a town? How about everywhere? The hell make you in a way and I bear her today before you made me men me when you get this set on down anymore here. And the only other town, one of the villagers, KG Yego or Jenny no anymore here. Now the same over here is a car. This business has been on for the past three, four years now. On what it came last year or any last year or about one boy in the heart attack anymore here. A village with this guy, this woman never get a deer. The guy may have talked anymore. The guy never go near another banter. Had the Raja bed the guy. Both the guy Ben Naya. Both the other guy their village. Why you could have? Why you could have? Labe, the one on my own. Nobody may have talked anymore. Now the same village this guy you were a member of. I'm going for it. Then to the point, you know, you go to her that way of it. You go at this guy now about that way of it. This girl on one lotara lota. In on boss again, now he and I will hear do better. Long we call on anybody before a lot here. When I see Salotere, le qua activity, Siamara. She say what she know. Obon query, if you are a bad person, go not a wine, and I are Yane Puchiki, or when Bo gave for, or man Puchumuziki. This is exactly what is going playing out here. I am talking because. I am from that community. I am from that environment. A lot of people from that community doesn't come home for more than six years now. They don't come home. And here we are going to bless her with people. But people don't come home anymore. I can't just wake up and ask I'm not a village because of these guys. A lot of people are going to be better. All stage. But here we are going to be this girl who is going to be better. I can't tell Eastern security network and that poor, none they never hear at the community. Come to the video, careful. It's quite unfortunate. So the lady in the Kuyama, Obu no no the Kuya, no the mother, no. 
She's trying to also liberate herself. On one issue, by where they and whatever her car lottery, all from the proceed. Out of this boy in Akpano Budo, go to where this girl last year, last time. What I care that I'm like Kurulelu, you know, man. Before now, matter all over where. It's a big problem. Only for our no budo yet he impuna here avaro. Lene ho di go budo. Ne kero budo ala buto no go me. Ako ya hundele ko iso. Do you see people saying the truth? This person is not an IPOB member, but he knows that he knows what IPOB stand for in the Eastern region. He know. This is a a businessman, successful businessman on his own, saying the truth in their own community forum. Without any fear. So he voicing it out. He said he would try because Omar, he know because he's from that community. He know what is well. He said he would try Bola, they turn around. They turn around because he was the escaping route. He went to go for the crowd. I was here. I was here. I was here. They now turn around and say, Law wound the ESL, Eastern Security Network and IPOB. Les men. But do you see where I confirm it? Law wound me, Ben. Law wound me. There is a, one man in Imo State. All of us are here in this land. When this thing began, the 2022, one day, I was having a discussion with this man. This man tell me, oh, mama. Oh, mama. No, no, no. One of... One of the... Oh, my God. 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 Oh, Thank God he told me this thing. I laugh. Because I, he's a man that I respect so much. He's an advanced man. I laugh. I say, ah, Oga, which one be your mama? He said, in, uh, in the ESN, that the boys are living when I own mama. I said, that is nothing like that. ESN does not have any nickname. What we have is Eastern Security Network, period. And uh, that is highly prohibited to ESN personnel to tell you that Obgrulobo Manning Woko, no way, remember, he said, it is highly prohibited to him to reveal to you Lobo ESN. He can never reveal it to you. It is, it is, it is no, it is no, it is the red line, red line, red flag. Talkless of this one, you call your community, telling you I have one more man. So, we, don't, we don't have such in the ESN for your information, sir. I'm coming. I did not keep this thing. I said, we don't have such. In anywhere, sorry, let me put this thing on. We don't have such in ESN. I said, go and make your research. I said, okay. He said, okay, that guy will call him again. Anytime he will call him, he will try. He told me that he's going to try to make sure that I'm around if he call. Or if I come around, he's going to call him. One day I went to his office. And uh, he had been sending them money. One day I went to this office. I said, Call that guy. Look, I'm going to do it now. Come on. Up all the guy. The guy picked the call. He called the guy again. The guy picked the call. He asked him, No, when he came, I had to busy. I said, Okay, happy to see I said, but any time the guy called you, tell him that somebody said, somebody that is inside this trouble said that is nothing called Omoma. And he was planning to go home that time. I told him, I said, come, let me give you. I said, come. You see that guy that has been calling you that know your phone number here? 
since he mentioned Omoama, I say, for your information, do never in your life let them know that. If you go home, don't let them know you are coming. Don't let them know you are around. I say, this guy have joined. These are the people that Hopus or them are recruited to blackmail IPO. And they are not carrying heavy activities of all manner of crime. I said, nah, how they kidnap you? That guy will call to their member, they will kidnap you. And if the man that listened to my word, he listened to that word, he listened to that advice. Then there are other one, the same woman. When I told him, he said, I said, yes, I said, no more, I said, eh, I'm happy. That's my wife, I said, I didn't say anything. He traveled home, he traveled home, and he went to their village, he traveled home, he went to their village, and one of the guys saw him, the following that they kidnap him. <laughs> they said, the following that they kidnap him. But God saved him. After that incident, he came back. He looked at me. He said, Ogalaya man, anybody who does not listen to you will die. He said, after the investigation, you find out that most of these guys are the ones doing this. I said, okay, add them the ESM. He said, no. I said, okay. I say, even though ESN is your brother, the last thing I'll get, maybe we reveal it to you. He can never reveal it to you. It is those criminals that is parading themselves because that is the mission handed over to them. Blackmail ESN, blackmail Mazin and Khan, blackmail IPOB. But to, today, my joy is that today, everybody have come to terms. Those in emotion, the emotion have died. I told them, I say, a freedom fighter, one, there are people that are supposed to fight freedom. If you're an emotional carried away, you're not supposed to involve yourself in freedom fighting. Another thing, if you are hungry, you are not financially, you know, independent and the capable of feeding yourself properly and feed anybody around you, do not involve in freedom fighting. Freedom fighting is not for the poor. But when you say this word, some people will pick it as an offense. They will say, nah, they are not adding money. But these are the reason why Martin and the said freedom fighting is not for the poor. This is the reason why I join voice and say it's not for the poor. Because I know it's not for the poor. Before he get low, he get to that fucking West stamina. Imagine somebody who is going to fight. You are going for fight. You are asking somebody to give you money to go and eat first before going to fight. What about if the person give you condition? That is why the freedom fight is not for the poor. What about the person give you condition and say, I don't want you to go and fight there. So therefore, I will not give you money. If I give you this money, if you eat, make sure you are not going there. He will best okay, let me take you to the restaurant. He will take you to your feet when he says, I want to see you enter your house. But if you are financially independent, you go to the new restaurant of your choice, choice and eat well, pay, drink what they want to drink, and go and have stamina, go and fight. The person can only hear the news, ah, you are fighting there and you have won their fight without discouragement. That's what the mean, meaning of that means. Freedom fighter is not for the poor. So that no one control you with what you want to eat. But when our leader said it, or most of us will say it, they will say they are insulting them. Say they are insulting them. 
There are another thing after this thing. There are another thing I want to tell our people again. How many times will something happen to you before you learn? The one now that is flying all this, all the forums. Now they don't come up on the internet again openly. They are going from platform to platform now. Inboxing people, those people that they know that their brain is immature. Somebody like me cannot, it cannot, people when they did it, that era has gone. They find out that I am not even listening. Sometimes I will listen to what they said. If it is what I want to correct. I will inbox the person and say, I will start questioning that film. So can you give me a reason? They say, they say, they say, where do we get this information? From where do you harvest this information from? Then who told you that this thing is real? Where and where, where and this, the person will disappear. Because of all time, I will interrogate you. I will interrogate you. You can't just come and fool me. I will interrogate you to get the facts and figures because we believe in reality we don't believe in fictions now the one they are doing now is a negotiation negotiation a few of them have called me and i'll give my answer to them very bold answer negotiation is there anything wrong with the negotiation that's what I answer one of them. Is there anything wrong with negotiation? What is it? Can you define, can you give me the definition of negotiation in your dictionary? It's that uh, uh, people have died, yes. People have died. And people are still dying. People are living in agony simply because of this struggle. Some families have scattered and separated because of this struggle. Some doesn't have home because of this struggle. So what is the meaning of negotiation? If you know you've engaged in a war, 10 years, 15 years war, 20 years war, at the end of the day, negotiation. Before any tranquility from the any war zone, there must be negotiation. After uh, uh, what they call it, uh, Ukraine. After that, that small boy, that idiot, were used by the British and the France. Don't you see his new language? After he have destroyed what other president of Ukraine built. Everything all that formidable Ukrainians built for many years, this small boy destroyed it. Because he wants to be a British and a France pet. They give him fake promise. Not they give him fake promise, they give him real promise because they thought that Russia doesn't want. They thought his Russia is like uh, Iraq, where they will lie against them and the form soldiers immediately they will march there and destroy the place just to just to slave them. You know, all this France and this that is how, that is how they grow their economy. They destroy that, or they will use one stupid politician to destroy one country for their own benefit. That what destroyed the Ukraine. We are your back. We have missile. We have atomic bomb. We have submarine. We have uh, this one. We have a uh, NATO. At the end of the day, we tell them, don't worry. We have African, our our dog, our African leaders' dog, the one we control like dogs. They will give us their soldiers. We will go and invade, invade Russia. We, there is no promise that U.S. and the, these people do not give them. They never know that. Russia is more prepared than Israel itself. They never know. It was when Russia showcased what they have. The monkeys and baboon, all, all of them, all of them enter their nets. We 
where they are doing what they are doing today in African nations is because of they know that uh, Africans are idiots. Instead of them preparing their defense, everybody is looking up to the sky. They want to go heaven. Everybody is completely looking up to the sky. Why the people who brought the idea of the sky, what you are looking at, why the people who brought the idea is building massive weapon to protect the earth. Africa, every Africans are looking up to the sky. They want to go heaven. We want to go heaven. That's why we left our resources in the hands of criminals. Because it's not important to us. Heaven is more important. Something that somebody brought the idea and give you, you now buy the idea more than the person who brought the idea. This is what I saw. I'm surprised over our people. Anything they learn, they do it more than people that taught them. Go and see lesbian, lesbianism. The white people have been doing it for many years. Just few years that lesbianism entered Nigeria. Both the married woman. Lesbian, lesbianism, who is lesbian here, doesn't have anything to do with man. They separate themselves. They identify themselves so that you will know. But in Nigeria, both married woman that is in the husband house, the latest now, they don't want to have boyfriend because of a, a DNA test, so that they would not go and have, be pregnant by their outside the boy, boy chick. I don't understand. I'm not, I'm not a white, I'm not a from English country. If the girl can be chick, this one is a chick, chick, chick boy too. Now the one that is ready for them now is lesbian. Lesbianism. You will see woman and woman walking. The husband will think he's his friend. Never know that he's nonsense mate. You have a hammer. Hammer a car and the cushion. Umuoko. Let's marry, let's marry, let's marry King Wokiba. Aqua, 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 <laughs> <I'm so sad. laughs> the boy he's all that the boy is what the boy should be called chicken oh chickens <laughs> this is this our brother <laughs> hey jesus christ i got him on i got him on the forum to forum no no what am i saying that they can because la no ha negotiation a twist we go negotiation a twist that is why sometimes i send this show you when a problem what keeps you from keeping quiet the the the, the leader have done his own job And the, the movement is ongoing smoothly to restore Biafra. We are not here to restore anybody. We are here to restore Biafra, which all of us we go into. So our life will be safe and secure. As other world are building mass weapons to protect their, themselves and their citizens, we will build our own. All this is because of the reason why we let me tell let me tell you something where this world is going to there is something they call new world order that was activated and established when obama became a president in us 2008 
new world order we are initiated then we are finally established 2019. Immediately that COVID was ongoing, they initiate what the plan of 2008 was. They initiated. Many people does not know. Let me tell you, any country and the nations and the continent that are not building self self uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, defensive uh, head is finished. Time will come. Time will come. America will come and say, you, Nigeria or Ghana, I need this particular community. They will not negotiate anything with you again. That is what they call the process of new world order. That's why they begin it with GMO. Genetic modified organ for food. That is why they begin with GMO. If not for this, the same IPOB. Okay, and the politicians, because the politicians have been already been paid. What they focus, the way their eyes is focused is on the money. The money that will enter their pocket. The future consequences and the danger is none of their concern. They have started it with that GMO. What is the meaning of that GMO? This is the seed, if it is corn. You go now, you go to the store. See what they want to do. Which we have gotten the intel. You go to the store. You buy corn. You take it to your land. You plant it in your land. As soon as that corn is growing, it will grow more fine. Because it's a chemical seed. It will grow more fine, more robust. There is nobody that will see the growing of that crop that will not love it. It will grow fine. Now, they will now prescribe one particular fertilizer that, that will be applied for those seeds. Because as they manufacture the seed, they have already manufactured the fertilizing of that particular GMO. Uh, so they look at what that fertilizer will do. That fertilizer is a chemical that will go to your soil. That soil where your corn, normal seed corn, grow with your own fertilizer. You help, you help your corn with fertilizer to grow, to try to get a, a very fine harvest. It will not grow. As soon as there was that fertilizer they prescribe for you, you, you add it on that seed you bought from the store. You plant. The next thing, the next time, you want to use the same seed to plant. You cannot. If you plant it, it will not come out. It will not germinate. It will not grow. Then you become wondering. Ah, you will run go back. They say, ah, they, that time they will not tell you. No, it is only to plant and they harvest. Imagine you. You have a farmer. You are a farmer. Anytime you want to plant, you have to go and buy seed. So everything you harvest have to go to the market and go for consumption. No preservation of that particular seed. Because preserving it is useless. It is to produce and consume. Then you, next, next season, you go and buy again and plant. The seed will come up very robust, very fine. Your land, your soil that grew that original corn has been, uh, uh, has been contaminated. Are you understanding that? It's already contaminated. By the time you don't have money to go and buy that their seed again, you say, okay, let me look for that our own corn. Remember, nothing lasts forever. This thing now may have been taken 10 years. Then 10 years, our corn, our original seed, which we plant, is vanishing. Is going off the surface of the earth. It's vanishing. Then by the time this one have polluted the land for four or let's say 10 years or 15 years, anywhere you find that our original seed, you say, okay, let me try it and plant it here. No more. That the same farm can never germinate that one again. Because the soil is already polluted with the chemical. 
Do you see what they want to do to you? Then that time when they have known, because they have the duration of the years, which the fertilizing of GMO we damage, we neutralize the natural natural manure of your soil. So though they will, they will not come up with another idea. They will increase the seed. Maybe your family you used to buy, you used to go and buy from their hand. Maybe you waste like 100,000 to go and get the seed. What will happen? That seed will fly from that 100,000 to 1 million. From that 100,000 to 1 million. Then, how many? And that they will be good in the package. They will tell you, okay, pack, uh, packet of, uh, they say, no, cut it for me. They say, no, if you cut your plant that day, that this does not need air, there's no way they will cut it for you. They tell you, well, this one, this package is, maybe that person want to plant uh, corn and the yam. They will tell you, okay, this yam now, the packet of it, to plant in uh, in one acre of land is 500,000. The corn is 500,000, 1 million. Where do you going to see the, where ordinary farmer, village farmer, with, that time they have subsidiarily established your stomach. Now they are in control of your stomach. You see what they call new world order. Now they are in charge of your stomach. Then if you continue, now, when they see that the, the price have shoot up, yeah, now the poor people, the poor farmers will not have access to farming again. Now, government will not step in into farming business. That is the plan. Government will not step in. They will not use one senator from their own constituency and hand him over because he's the only one who can, who have access to that seed who have the capacity to purchase that seed. Do you see what they call new world order? If, if you think maybe they will point a gun on you, no. They will not point a bomb on you. They will not point a gun on you. They will not bring it. It is only that senator that will have access and capacity. Now the next thing they will do, they will say, okay, pass a law. Recover all the farming land. Government will control it. When government begin to give you food, electricity they never give you, water they never give you for many decay for many years they never give you. That is when they will stab you. They can only bring food out when election is approaching. They will bring corn out. They will bring the price of the corn. Yeah, everybody will say, "Now nah, let me go and buy corn. Let me go and buy corn." You will buy. They will bring cassava. As soon as election finish, they shoot it up again. Now it will become another tactics of campaigning. That time, they don't give you money again. The only thing you will receive is one cup of garlic. That time, you are receiving half bag of rice to vote. That time, no more bag of rice. That time, no more bag of rice. Let me send a message to these people. Amara, that's not more bro the map watch you back. And the business, I don't know my line. So that is what they will not control you for. If not for this IPOB, IPOB have tried to save our people. And as we begin to alert people and lecture people in regards of this uh, GMO, even Yoruba people now have wake up. Because what, most of them, they don't know. They don't know research we are making. Most of them have wake up and say, ah, look at what they hear, what IPOB is saying, you know. And they went and they be doing research of the claim of IPOB. They find out that it's true. Why this thing is not delivering? They find out that what IPOB have been telling them is pure truth. 
So the what the what I people have saved Nigerians from is uncountable. But this is the, the foundation they want to end, knowing fully well that we hold the solution. Because there is nothing else that will bring peace and tranquility and love and the harmony among the Yorubas or the Arewas. It's only everybody go on your own tent. If I am coming to your place, I know I'm coming to your place. Any law you have there, I abide by the law. I will not violate your law in the name of deceiving myself as we are one. That is the fact. If the Funanese are coming to Biafra land, they know that yes, mingling with underage women in our land will lead you into prison, even 20 years or 15 years. They will have that one in mind. They will not come in the name of one Nigeria, they want to mingle with a girl of 15 years because it's their own culture. This is why we, it is always good to draw a line. What happened? Uh, the message delivered now. Always good to draw line in everything you do. Wait to what is going on? Oh, am I? It's always good to draw boundary in anything we do. So now, those of you going from platform from platform, what are you getting? You have started again. Your mistake of 2001, 2021, and 2022 is not enough for you. That's why I tell you, be careful with this Biafra agitation. When the, those in the leadership are telling you, cease fire, cease fire. When they tell you, you stop, stop. When they say, okay, ah, you say you want to jump this gutter. They say, no, don't jump the gutter. The reason for that, that, that not jumping that gutter is they want to see if there is any hole, dog behind that gutter you want to jump. There may be hole there, dog there, covered. Put paper and put sand. You are jumping there, you go into the hole. They will tell you, don't jump this gutter first. Wait, let us see what is behind the gutter. That's the meaning. The next thing, if you're a sensible person, you have to stop because there is always information they have access to that you don't have access to. Most of you are people like The same enemy, the same tactics they use for DOS, DOS sold mass and the kind of, they, all of you run mad. I say, if you are calling DOS, you are calling department. Point out, tell me. That was the first person that called me. I said, DOS, you see what DOS did? I said, who is DOS? I said, who is DOS? DOS is a department. Who among the DOS that showed me? Yeah, now all DOS. Who is, measure the name. Give me, I don't need shampoo, this. Give me name. Halali, I'm a no, no, no chance for my side. Gashik. Now, I was a master man, the can, eh, alloy the alloy the Jimako. I see the last signature against IPOB. Now, he is now not to work with the Nigeria government. Eh, uh, IPOB, sir, master man, the can, yes, me, master man, the can, yes, me. Okay. The only thing I answer is allow him to come at first. I say anything he wants to do, let me say, let me answer because one day they may play that audio. You know, they, they are always afraid to play my, my conversation with them because of what? Everything I said at the end of the day, that day everything go land. I don't, I don't, I don't even query by the special grace of God. So that's why they don't quickly play it. So they will keep it to see the ending of that they will play. Those who are waiting to play my conversation with them, will not go wait till eternity. But at the end of the day, 
The only thing that will come out from your mouth is, ah, nah, oh, could he have me? I thought, allow this man to come out first. I said, anything that he will do to come out there, let him do it, come out first. He said, why am I standing there? I said, yes, let him do it and come out first. I know my reason, I said, let him come out first. The other one, I said, I said, must, must he be mad now the time that will restore Biafra for you? Allow the man to come out first. If he come out first, then we can keep him aside and say, one day, give us, give us way. Look at how we want to do it. Look at how we want to do it and restore the affair. Because must know. Common sense is not common. Allow the man to come out first. It's not who starts the race that finishes the race. The most important thing, have the lane to run that race. Have that lane, that have that track been laid? Yes, it have been laid. Glory be to God. That is what I need. Only what I need is the track to be laid down. Then I finish the race. I'm bring the victory cup. That's just a simple thing. So all of you that have started, you are misbehaving again, you should stop it. Stop giving the enemy's voice. Silence the enemy with your wisdom. If you lack wisdom, keep your mouth shut. That's just it. Ladies and gentlemen, Great Bia France and Lovers of Freedom. These brokers have come to an end. If you know what is good, do it. And when doing it, apply wisdom. Stop going from platform to platform. Remain where they ask you to remain. You have seen those today that love going to platform. You have seen the consequences of their going to platform. They, are, they, are, they become inconsequential. They become unstable human beings. They become inconsistent. Because of the too much listening of me. If you send me a message, I read your message. Ask people. Sometimes I reply. If the one that is necessary for me to reply, I reply. If the one that is not necessary, I ignore it and leave it there. If you give me a call, I see a missed call, I call back when I am free, because I'm always busy. And when I'm free, I call you back and ask the reason why you call. You call, I return your call. You tell me that when I have not, I have never been afraid of discussion with anybody. Because my discussion is transparency. What I say in the public is what I say in secret. That is who I am. Thank you all for joining me. Mechiko Kabyama, keep on protecting us and uh, give us more wisdom and more strength and more substance to champion this struggle to the end. Thank you very much and God bless all of you for joining me.